If you would like to learn about the Simple Direct Meal Layer, please consider watching Easy SDL 2 games in C++. In this 12-part course series, we will discuss creating games such as Snake, Tetris, Top-Down Shooters, Pong, Breakout, Platformers, and simple construct of the C++ language to improve our game performance speed. In this course series, we'll discuss using SDL2 Mixer, Image, TTF, and other systems to improve the functionality of SDL with extension libraries. If you like to play video games, the Simple Direct Media Layer, created in 1998, has various port abilities for different types of devices. If you are new to C++ or the Simple Direct Media Layer or using IDEs and other types of tools such as Tile and Sprite Editors, we will go over creating basic games using the Simple Direct Media Layer in nominal time. In our first part of this video series, we will discuss using the Simple Direct Media Layer, the installation, and so forth, how to create an event loop and make a window in part two. In part three, we'll talk about user-defined functions and other basic C++ concepts. We will move on to, in part four, event handling for the user. And in part five, we will talk about rendering pixels and other geometric primitives using the simple direct media layer. Then we will talk about loading images and other external files, moving on to optimized surfaces and sound, using tile maps and collision detection. In part 9 we will talk about memory management techniques. In part 10 we will discuss object-oriented programming concepts and constructing better classes. In part 7 we will discuss a two-player game by using split-screen functionality as well as some network support. Then finally, in our final section, part 12, we will discuss graphical user interfaces for our completed game projects. If you are new to the Simple Direct Media Layer, the, the tool was used for various, various, various commercial projects or AAA games, and it is natively developed in C. It is offered for free under the Zlib license. And if you would like to know more about the Simple Direct Media Layer, please visit their official website and look at some Wikipedia particles right, for more information. We, in this video series, we'll discuss installation for Linux and creating our projects in Windows, right? as well as the nearly 600 or so functions, structures, enumeration, hints, and flags of the Simple Direct Media Layer. If you're not familiar with the modern digital library, um, the modern digital library is the Internet, so the Internet has quite a few resources you can use for your game project as well as game jams and so forth. If you're not familiar with how functional the Simple Direct Media Layer, it has been used for free as well as commercial games as well as three-dimensional projects and two-dimensional projects and it has decent performance. Are there any prerequisites to any types of videos to learn how to program? No, you just need to be interested, have some motivation, you need to have pen and paper like any other course right you just be motivated have some time right and if you're not familiar with C++ programming here we have uh, this pound include sign here it calls a library all the eyebrow stream we have a namespace named STD we put some code in a main function we would do sometimes they have a return type in case it has zero and then we output some text on the screen that's the first C++ program simple and easy uh, maybe five lines of code, everything's under control. Um, where we have first, we look at that's the preprocessor, we have a namespace, there's a main function, um, there's a prompt to give some user input for the output streams, it has a terminating statement at the end of it. Um, if you're not familiar with header files, the simple direct meal is a library, it's an application programming interface. We just try to pound include sign here. We call the initialization function, right? SDR underscore init. We pass in a flag, or this, is a, or this is a function parameter, into the function parameter. We call SDL um, init everything, right? 
and that should ruin, right? It may crash, but we will go into how to fix that later. The Simple Direct Media Layer has modern support for many operating systems, such as since they many of these devices use Linux, they have support for Chromebooks, as the Raspberry Pi, and mobile devices. Um, if you're watching this video, I would suggest you use just a regular desktop computer, then port it over to the device because it just won't work. It just won't work. Cause let's not waste time on that. All right. Anyway, for the modern programming setup, there are uh, coding constructs like this. Most people, most new computers support multiple monitors. You may have video, you may code on one, you may look at PowerPoint slides on the other. So be aware of that. And what's the paper for? Just like the multiple monitors, you can do the same things on the computer you can do with the monitors. You can write, you can erase, you can draw, and you can highlight, right? Very important. All right? So what are our learning outcomes, right? For this video series, we hopefully by the end of the series, you will know how to create do some basic animations for your C++ programming game, right? And then we'll move on to shooting projectiles. Projectiles could be spawning enemies. Projectiles could be melee attacks. Projectiles could be um, the player himself, you know, after images, right? We will talk about scrolling the screen, right? There's, there's different types of screen scrolling techniques, like the ones familiar with if you're familiar with Zelda, or if you're familiar with um, Castlevania, those Metroidvanias now that's so popular uh, on the in the game market. There's what we call parallax scrolling, and then we'll talk about basic collision detection, right? Collision detection items. Then we'll talk about, well, hopefully by the end of the series you'll know about some basic, not really not graph based. Um, opponent AI, such as you know, chess and checkers. No, we're just going to go over basic AI, an enemy moving back and forth on the screen, right? So hopefully, I, by the end of the series, you'll have to some experience using the compiler, using the terminal, creating a basic fast project using the Simple Direct Media Layer, and there will be some programming assistance, right, uh, using the Simple Direct Media Layer. So if you liked our video, please consider watching Easy SDL2 Games in C++. My name is Dion Jackson, and thank you for your time.